Good morning, my fellow Americans. I hope you had a fantastic 4th of July. As for the rest of you, how was your Monday? Now that this holiday is behind us, what will you focus on? I mean, the 4th of July is an important date. We often think of business in pre and post July 4 terms, one being promising and the other being abysmal. Personally, I have been intently focused on this date. It's been a target of mine as I have had a very specific vision on where I wanted to be when the holiday finally came. I wanted to have sales momentum, and I do. I wanted to dramatically increase my sales, and I have. Two record months in a row, actually, and already the summer looks spectacular for Aspire 4. Hard work and a lot of selling has made it possible for me to really enjoy a relaxing three-day weekend. But what now? What is there to focus on next? I had a partner once, Len Peterson, who urged me to think three or four months out. He used to ask, where do you want to be on a specific date? And what do you need to do in order to get there? That question helped me to create specific goals and a very specific plan of action. I have always liked that kind of thinking. In the early days of my company, Len was the centerboard to my sailboat. Paying it forward, I have a thought for you. Focus on the day after Labor Day. That would be September 6th for those of you outside of the US. There is something special about that day Mindsets seem to shift from personal to business. It's as if people wake up, put their kids on the school bus and say to themselves, well, summer's over. I think I'll focus on work now. Naturally, I have a goal for where I want to be that day and a plan for the nine weeks between today, July 5th, and that day, September 6th. What about you? Where do you want to be on September 6th? And what do you need to do in order to get there? When you are done watching this tip, answer that question in very specific detail. By doing so, you will have taken the first step towards your own record months.